All right, Mozzie Smith. This team is going to be successful. We're going to need a lot from Mozzie controlling the middle. When you control the middle of the field, you control the field. And he was out there before anyone else working out. Hey, David. Can you Mozzie, Mozzie, I know you're tired, man. But I, quick question for you. Can I ask a quick question? Man, with you out there early, you were the first man on the field working with the handwork. How do you like working with your new defensive line coach? That's it? All right. <laughs> okay. What's up, good people? Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. And oh my god, I I'm just so happy right now because I got a da da dun da da dun damn Gina. We must be getting close to the football season. As the clock up here says, 21 days, three weeks from now, it is the football season. I think we started out the clock about uh, 121 days. We didn't had 100 days go past here, and I couldn't be any happier than I am right now. And here is your Mozzie Smith update. You know, people used to say, the only thing he talks about is Dak Prescott. Okay, well, you know what? I'm sharing some love for guys that don't get any love, and that is the interior D. Okay, pause. The interior defensive linemen get no love, okay? Most people, they don't get picked on fantasy football. Nobody says, let me get Mozzie Smith on fantasy football, okay? You just don't. You don't. Interior defensive linemen. The only time you know about them is when they're stepping on somebody's face, like Albert Hainsworth. They do the ugly work. They don't even, you know how close they get to the football every single play? And they gets no love. They don't. It's literally there, just teasing them. Because, you know, what you really want to do is you just want to grab the football, just pick it up and just run and just, just see what it feels like to get into the end zone and spike the football. But we don't get any of that on the interior defensive line. You look at the numbers, they're like, yeah, man, the guy only had 25 tackles and two sacks. He sucks. If you want war, those guys are the guys that – have the biggest battles if you want to really see what the nathanderall thing of football is as the football tries to make it kinder and gentler it is war hand-to-hand -hand combat there in the trenches especially as an interior defensive line okay now i went and i saw for myself all I've been hearing, even before I went through, people, Mozzie's a bust. Mozzie sucks. And even when he's doing his assignment, people are blaming him because he didn't get the tackle, even though that's not his job. I know most of you think that, you know, your job as a defensive lineman is just, just get tackles every play, every play. And if you're not getting the tackle every play, you're not getting any love. But what you have to understand is you are a tool to take care of the linebackers. You are a tool to get pressure up the middle. Hold the line so the quarterback can't step up and take off. And we've seen quarterbacks literally take up off us. I mean, Sam Darnold, when he was with the Jets, literally right up the middle. Jalen Hurt, right up the middle. Okay? It's the big guys in the middle that occupy so much space that get in the quarterback's face. Get the big paw up there so the quarterback can't see. He's got to look around him and try to make crazy sidearm passes. Shout out to Ben DiNucci. He's the guy that's taking on the double team so that linebacker can get 100-plus tackles. He gets no glory and he gets no love except from Mark Holmes. Mark Holmes here gives the big men the love. Pause. And so... We have the da da dun da da dun damn Gina with Mozzie Smith, who got his cowboy tattoo. Cowboy tattoo. And see, here's the thing. This is what I'm going to tell you right now. Most players, like a doctor in the bedside manner, you know the bedside, you've heard that before, right? Bedside manner means you don't get personally involved. 
It's the reason why they say don't have doctors work on their own family. Because you're thinking about this is my family member and you, if you're emotional, you might not be able to make the right calls. And that's how it is with football players. They don't look at this as I'm a Dallas Cowboy. They look at this as I'm an independent contractor that gets a 1099 at the end of the year. When you say, you know, team, I am the team. And that's why most players will say, I'm here to help this team because they're not getting emotionally involved. But when you get a Dallas Cowboy tattoo, you're involved. You're tied in. Now, Randy Gregory did that too, but we won't go there. I I don't know if he, he got it made into something else, if he still has it or what. But this says, I all am all in on this team. And here's what I love what he says. Now, see, Mozzie, you know, being an interior defensive lineman, you're a man of few words. You don't speak a whole lot. You don't even, you don't really like the press. You don't want press conferences. You saw how Mozzie literally walked as far away from everybody over there, okay? He's the first man out on the field working on his hands and everything else, and he's the last man, last man off the field. And even when he's walking off the field, Dude is still right there in the coach's pocket working on some moves as you go through. And you can see he is given everything. The man's tired because that's the life of an interior defensive lineman. But this is what Mozzie had to say about the tattoo. Mozzie Smith on his Cowboys tattoo. I got the star about two weeks before I came out to camp. I'm working, bringing in. I love my opportunity. I got here. They trust me. They put resources around me to help me do what I'm supposed to do. I'm forever indebted. The game of football has given me a lot. Amen, brother. Amen. And see, I'm going to tell you, I can tell you because I'm going to say I'm so blessed. I am so blessed. And I can say from firsthand knowledge of talking with his mama. I don't know if you'll see this, Mozzie. I don't know if you'll see this, but I I was blessed enough for your mother to recognize me, which I'm like, really? Somebody recognizes me? Recognized me and said, I watch you, I follow you, and so on. And you in Law Nation? Yeah, you guys know what you're talking about. The rest of those guys? Well, we won't talk about what she said about the rest of those guys. But I had a chance to get some background on Mozzie. First thing I asked, here's the funny thing I asked. I said, let me ask you. I said, Was Mozzie always really big? I said, I played nose guard myself. I said, not anywhere near as big as Mozzie, but I was a big baby. She said, really? How big? I said, 13 pounds, 9 ounces. And her eyes bugged out. No, he wasn't quite. She was like, oh, my God. She's like, no, he was not that big, but he's always a big guy. And he always loved sports. And he gets a lot of his attitude and everything from his mother i just just being able to talk to her you know through practice and everything else i learned a lot about him and the upbringing is primo and you have to love this because like i said work ethic he could easily just say i'm a first round pick i'm getting paid big time money you know four years and and i'm good i'm set for life but to see him there with the coach and you can see that the cowboys are giving him Every bit of knowledge and skill. This is a guy who has redeveloped his body. Maybe he went too far to the light side and they had to come back and everything else and all. And Mozzie, you know, let me know if you do need to put on some more weight. I got some killer barbecue that you, and Joe Boo Wings will definitely kill, get, get plenty of protein in you. But um, I like seeing this with Mozzie Smith. So shout out to the big man. And I'm going to tell you. All you mother humpers out there that have said he's a bust, he's a waste, get rid of him. Because I've literally seen people say, I'm done with him. Not to mention any other YouTubers out there, but literally said that he uh, he's always on the ground. <sighs> Apparently, you have never played interior defensive line. When you're taught to when you feel that pressure, to fight pressure, drop the anchors and get low but then again you know those who can do those who can't talk about those who can so can you or can you not i'm mark holmes and you're up to date 
with everything that is the Dallas Cowboys. Peace out.